We speak to our psychologist, Dr. Joab Mozanambabwe. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. It's a very, 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 very stressful time uh, for people who didn't make it Indeed. in the grade 10 or grade 12. How would we just kind of assess what is happening to them at that point? Yeah, there are quite a number of issues. You know, we look at firstly the positive side of it that uh, those who made it, in terms of the cutoff point, they are excited. They are going to go to varsity or get colleges. But those who did not make it, the question is, where to from now? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like, one will be feeling like I didn't make it in life. And yet it's not making it in the examination. So, so there is this whole thing of going back to the drawing board. Yes. And, and trying to think, I had dreams. What am I going to do? Am I going to re retract and then start again? Or am I going to deviate from my, you know, my initial plans? You know, those things. There are a lot of questions hovering around within their mind. But, 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 but that, that, that correlation, that, that association that you're talking about, not making it in the exams and, and using that and saying not making it in life, how does that even get established in our society? How do the learners come to even think about that when you don't pass, your life ends? How do we associate the two? Yes. In fact, academia has been made the... I would say the bridge mm. to success in life, mm. and and yet it's not always the you know the fact. Mm. We want people to pass, yes, mm -hmm. that's very important. And of course, if you want to go to varsity, you need sort of you know like twenty five points. If you want to go to NIM to and all those things, you need certain points. So from there, then you've got a trade, you've got a qualification, and then you've got employment. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to to real life, you know there are certain things that can be done without necessarily following that route. For example. The you know, Minister of Education has got a vocational education mm -hmm. program whereby if they had grade 10 failures, they can also go to colleges, you know, like you know, WVTC, uh, Oka Karara and all those. Although now I think they are pushing up to grade 12. But the fact of the matter is that uh, you will be thinking that passing is the ticket to success mm -hmm. in life. Okay. You know, what, what is interesting also is, is, and what you're saying is, recently I was at a public lecture and somebody said, what type of future is there for those who don't make it when the education system fails them or they fail the education system? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and do you think the lack of options uh, for people who don't make it or the lack of information about what to do, mm -hmm. uh, it could lead to the self-fulfilling prophecy of committing suicide? Yes. In fact, I think it's both. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the, the lack of options and then the lack of belief to say that then there's nothing that I can actually do. So you find that, uh, you know, it will be a state of hopelessness that I cannot do anything. The parents might have sold cattle, you know, sending you to school. The expectations from friends and you see them now moving to university and then you are sort of left behind. Mm -hmm. And then you feel hopeless. But are you really left behind? Uh, you are left behind in terms of trailing in the yes. gen that you thought was the right gen. Okay. But you are not necessarily left behind in terms of life. Mm -hmm. You see? The, you know, I always talk of diversion. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are going a certain route and you see a boulder there, what do you do? You change direction. Mm -hmm. The idea is be able to reach there. Okay. And you may not follow the same route. So that's why diversion is very important. When things don't work, go back to the drawing board. Don't panic. You know, try to say this is what has happened. Mm -hmm. What can I do? Do I want to upgrade? Do I want to change, you know, courses and then follow, say, the vocational, you know, route? But most people, they get into despair. Mm -hmm. They start, you know, feeling that I'm not worth anything and then, you know, suicide out this. Doctor, let's talk a little bit about shame when it comes to, because I think that's a large part psychologically, a driver um, that you go through you stand risk of you know not being accepted by peers like you say they're moving on how do people i think generally i think in the society we have we have troubles dealing with shame yes. when 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 we go through these acts how, from a psychological perspective how do we deal with shame yeah you know you know we we, we have senems like we're talking about mm. a child goes to school he carries my senem mm -hmm. and there'll be expectations yes and that child fails it's yes. like the whole family has failed correct so the shame is shared from the child up to the family level is shared from the child to the peers who might have made it, I want to underscore this, the cutoff point by the government, but not the cutoff point for life. So when you are dealing with the issues of shame, try to look at yourself and say, am I not able? Because scholastic ability is influenced by intellectual ability. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we push ourselves up to the limit 
and yet our intellectual ability is not able to allow us to cross those barriers. So you have to re-evaluate and say, am I able to cross this or should I accept this you know, thing that has happened? And then say, how can I start moving towards life but in a different direction? Okay. But feeling shameful for yourself, yes, it may happen, but it won't help.